Do you know why it's so hard for candle makers to understand how much candle wax fragrance oil combo you have to add to your candle jar? Because no matter how many times it's explained to them, it makes them have a meltdown. <laughs> no? I'll show my way out. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. Let's figure out how much candle wax fragrance oil combo you should add to your candle jar container. Let's go. Now here's my candle jar. This is a custom up vibe concrete candle jar that is very similar in size to the Amazon silicone mold. It's three inches by three inches. Those numbers aren't really important, but I'm mentioning them for context. The first thing you're going to do is you're gonna get your trusty scale and put it on your table. Get your candle jar and place that on top of your scale. Turn your scale on and fill up your candle jar with water until you reach the point where you would normally add your candle wax and fragrance oil combo. Remember, if you have a lid like I do, you want to make sure there's enough space to close your candle properly. Okay, let's go to the blackboard and write down the number from our scale. My number in grams says 300 grams. That means that it takes 300 grams of water to fill up my UpVibe concrete candle jar. But wait, did you know? Wax is less dense than water. In fact, on average, candle wax is 86% less dense than water. And by the way, not all candle wax weighs the same, so 86% is just an average density measure, but a good enough measure to accomplish your calculating goal. I know what you're thinking. You fail fifth grade science class and have no idea what density means. Got it. By definition, density is the amount of matter contained in a given space. Basically, it's how heavy something is compared to its size. And being that we know that water is more dense than candle wax, this wax melt should float in a cup of water. Ha <laughs> ha, bam. Okay, so even though you fail fifth grade science class, you still get an up vibe award for being super cool. Great job. Let's get back to the blackboard. Now that we understand density and we know that candle wax with its fragrance oil is 86% less dense than water, we need to do a little math. Let me guess, you failed third grade math. Remember our water content equaled 300 grams, but we need to find out what 86% of 300 equals to get our candle wax fragrance oil weight. So we take 300 and multiply that by 86% or 0.86, and that gives us a total of 258. That means we need 258 grams of candle wax and fragrance oil combo to make a candle using my custom up vibe concrete candle jar. Wait a minute, I know what you're thinking again. You're thinking if we add the wick, wick tab, and wick stickers, those elements will take up some space inside the candle jar, which will require less candle wax and fragrance oil. Great point, but, and this is a big but, this formula is an average formula because not all waxes are created equal, and I have no idea which wax you're using. Soy wax is more dense than coconut wax. Paraffin is typically denser than soy. Again, not all waxes are created equal. That means that it's better to have a little extra if a little extra is what you end up with. Let's move on. Now that we know that we need 258 grams of candle wax and fragrance oil to fill up the candle jar, we need to figure out our fragrance oil to candle wax percentage. For this example, I'm using a 9% fragrance oil load, so I need to figure out 9% of 250. Let me guess, third grade math. Okay, so let's take our 258 total amount and multiply that number by 9% or 0 0.09. That amount comes to 23.22. Let's round that number down to 23. Now let's take our total amount of 258 again and subtract 23 from that number. That comes to 235. That means that we need to add 235 grams of candle wax and 23 grams of fragrance oil to a mixing pitcher. Mix that up and add in a total of 258 grams of candle wax fragrance oil combo to this concrete candle jar. Don't believe me? Let's make a candle to test it out. Behind the scenes, I wicked up my up vibe concrete candle jar. So let's weigh out 235 grams of candle wax and melt it down. Once it's melted, we're going to add 23 grams of fragrance oil to our pouring pitcher and stir. Let it cool a bit and slowly add it to our candle jar. 
voila, perfection, and the lid fits. And that's how you measure how much candle wax fragrance oil combo you need for your candle jar container. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're gonna help you on your candle making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.